code pink when buying robux or premium hi everyone welcome back to another video in today's video i will be teaching you how to make a gfx without blender this video was highly requested by a lot of you so i really hope this helps we're going to start off by opening roblox studio roblox studio is the only app you'll need for this tutorial you will then need to download this load character plugin i will link it in the description for those who don't have it once you have this plugin, you can enter the username of the character you want to use. I will be using my own Roblox avatar for this. Make sure you have spawn at origin ticked, then you can spawn as R6. Now that we have our character all set up, we can add a room model for the background. Go to models at the top left and you can search for whatever you want. I already have some models saved so I will be using this one made by Zija Kusi. I will link their Roblox profile in the description. Move your background model towards your character, then position your character into the place that you want it. I'm also going to add some grass to the bottom using a part and a grass decal. I now have my basic scene set up. We can now move our character more, so click on the first body part you want to move. I'll be using the head, then go up to rotate, up the top to rotate your part. Also, a common mistake that people make when positioning the avatar is they don't set it to rotate to zero degrees, which makes it harder, so make sure it's set to zero. You can then rotate more of the body parts if you want to, as you can see here. I am also rotating the arms and torso. We also don't want the character's name visible, so right click on the name on the right hand side, then you can edit it. I just typed in the space bar so mine was left blank. This is my final setup, so I'm going to rotate my whole scene to face the natural Roblox Studio lighting. This is optional. Lastly, to save your GFX, you will need to take a screenshot using Command Shift 5 on your keyboard. Then position it to the size you want. And you're done! Here's my final result. 